when we go for a drive, we want to prevent the drawers from opening. So we have these elastic. I mean, just put it over here and attach it over there. And now it's stuck. <laughs> and this one the same. Yeah, mm. that one is the same. And then it cannot open. Hello, my name is Marta. Hi, I'm Grieche, and this is the Knuspers. Welcome in the Knuspers. It's like the cozy van in English, but in Dutch we say Knuspers. Um, come in and I will show you around. Um, so we built it in the summer of, uh, now we started in the summer of 2021 and it took us like seven months to build it or like i say us but i did all the building <laughs> and she helped with the interior and the styling um so we chose for a curved ceiling we really wanted to create a a cozy and chic feeling in the van so we added some some plants and a nice color and a, a nice lamp over here we have uh, two 220 volt uh, sockets and a switch for the water pump. We also have the battery monitor and the ECU uh, we have in, in the back. <laughs> and over here the uh, water monitor. Also the water tank is in the back. We have one more uh, 220 volt socket and also two USB adapters. Over here is our little toilet. You can just get it out and uh, do your thing. <laughs> this is our fridge. fridge. Fridge is 80 liters. Two more 220 volt sockets. And a switch for that lamp. Here's one more storage. We have two gas burners in our kitchen. And then we have a lot of storage room. And it's now empty. Except for all the pans. And did you build it or it's just some stock from yeah. the shop? No, I built it. All, all by myself. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And over here, one more with uh, everything for the for the water. Like have a grey water tank there? Underneath. No, underneath. Okay. Underneath, the, underneath the bus. Yeah. yeah. But it's portable, so not, not fixed. So the whole fan is uh, isolated with Armaflex, um, nine millimeters. And uh, all the, th the things on the doors with uh, six millimeters. And then we cover it up with, our, with a sky ladder to make it a, give it a nice touch and feeling. And that's also what we did with the back doors, it's the same. And how thick plywood did you use for the walls? Uh, these two are five, five millimeters. And for everything with the kitchen, I used 15 millimeters. Yeah, and also with this one and for the bed, I used 15 millimeters. And how was the building process? Was it the first time when you did something like that? Yeah, it was the first time. And I was like, yeah, I see so many people building fans, I can do the same. So we, like in two weeks, we, we had a fan in front of the house and then I just started and I watched a lot of YouTube videos and bought some ebooks and uh, I did everything by myself except for the electricity. Uh, that was a little bit too hard and I didn't want any accidents. So that one I skipped and let a professional do it. Uh, my father is a painter and he helped me with the finishing touches. We have more storage. And I just bought some drawers of the IKEA. And uh, yeah, I fixed the, the closet around it. And it's very easy, it's very light and uh, creates a lot of storage. And the bed itself, what is the size? The bed is 196 by 140. So that's the, the maximum length you can create in a Peugeot Boxer. So uh, you have still that insulation? Yeah. And yeah. Then just plywood on top. Yeah, it's still the, the 9 mm yeah. insulation and then indeed the, the plywood of 5 mm. And here, over here we have some more storage rooms. 
That's very easy for your clothes. And uh, two uh, bed lamps. And the skylight. And, and the skylight, yes. It's true. We have made uh, a game and it's kind of an escape game. Um, in Holland you have different uh, cities and different escape rooms, they call it like that. And we built an escape game just for this fan. It's um, personalized for couples, so for people who are in a relationship. And you have to crack different codes and make different puzzles or think deeply about how you have yeah, how you can open uh, doors and things there's this great box we made to um, yeah put things in that you have to use when playing the game um, finally when you are done and you crack the codes and find the right keys to open everything um, there's some things made I cannot say too much, <laughs> but we made uh, different yeah, questions, games also, to get on a deeper level in your relationship. And for me, I think that's really important because nowadays people don't really stand still by what they have or what they have next to them. And I think it's really important to, yeah, Take a moment and see what you have and how great it is what you have. So that's um, yeah the main reason why we built this mm -hmm. together. So it's like a recreational couple giveaway, a getaway. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And we have um, a few guests who have done it already, and they all say it has been a great ex experience because you think about questions you don't normally think about. In daily life because you're just busy busy with work or sports or whatever and when you get away with this fan you can just take a moment to think about yourself or your relationship or how you are together we have some more storage a lot of storage in the van and uh, also this spot is yeah, very often used for clothes, very important, some privacy. Um, These curtains, we bought the fabric uh, by ourselves. We picked it out. And um, I have a, a friend of mine who is very handy with these kind of things. So she made this. And also um, these cushions uh, are made by my friend. We have... Uh several spots in the ceiling and you can turn it on and off with with this remote um, and you can also it's all dimmable and there are several three groups so you can have you only can put on the kitchen and the seating area and also behind you by, by the bed you can turn it all off and on by itself so you can save the battery life a bit more yeah yeah exactly yeah and if someone is cooking over here someone is chilling at the bed you don't necessarily uh, need a lot of light when you're laying in bed yeah but you need it when cooking so <laughs> that's for sure <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah about the van itself so it's a show boxer uh, from 2013 it had like 140,000 kilometers. The size is uh, L3 H2. And why did you choose exactly this brand? Uh, well, for us it was important to uh, sleep like 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 this, um, with the the, uh, the maximum size possible. So we wanted a Peugeot Boxer, yeah, or a uh, Citroën jumper. Or Fiat Ducato. Or Fiat Ducato. <laughs> yes, that's true. So, and this was the first one we saw <laughs> for a good price. So, uh, we, we chose it. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, immediately. <laughs> Here you have our storage room. Yeah, our garage. 
So with the, the seats and our table and our uh, grey water tank. How many liters do they have here? This one? Yeah. It's uh, 25. And we just get it out and put it under the van. Then over here some small storage rooms. It's now completely filled. Um, and our gas is like 11 liters. This one. And the gas tank is basically just for cooking. Yeah, only for cooking. We have a 180 um, battery. 180 ampere hour. Yeah, an AGM is it? It is. Um, we have uh, solar panels on the roof. Um, one, it's a 300 watt. And uh, we have a inverter. It's 800. The fan was like. 12,000 euros. And 13. 13? Mm -hmm. 13,000. Yeah. 13, Thank you. It hurts. <laughs> 13,000 euros. And for the total build, I think it took took around 11 till 12,000 euros too. So in total, it's like 25. 25. 25. In six months of your work. Yeah. <laughs> All my free days. Yeah. Yeah. It was on weekends mostly. Right? Yeah, weekends. Mm. Yeah, true. And uh, some evening hours, but a lot of weekends. Yeah. But I love to do it. I want to do it again. Okay. So you build another one? <laughs> yeah, I want to. That's the idea. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm broke right now, so <laughs> maybe later. <laughs> I think a lot of people don't have a childhood with a lot of love. Um, speaking for myself, I didn't have, uh, I have divorced parents with um, yeah, a lot of fights and stuff. So it's hard to see um, what love really is and how it should be. Um, and during my coming out, because I'm in love with uh, this lady over here. <laughs> um, that was also hard to feel okay with who you are and yeah, what kind of people you like. And um, I study psychology now and I'm very intrigued by yeah, that kind of part, um, sexuality, um, love, how it works. I think it's generally the most beautiful thing uh, in the world. If you have the right um, person, next to you. Yeah, person next to you and if you have the right attention to it, to your yeah, experience with one, one another. So. Um, that's why I find it that important to be busy with this kind of things. This was our little tour of our van. I hope you all enjoyed it and hopefully we'll see you around in er somewhere in Holland. Don't forget we have a web page called um, theknusbus.nl and we also have uh, an Instagram page. It's also called The Knusbus, so that's where you can find us. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>